Shocker time! <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Hey everyone, I'm Sam Shocker. Thanks for tuning in. And if you can tell, we're all wearing purple today. Well, some of us are. You're rocking the purple lip. I got my purple scarf. You got some purple plaid, kind of, mm -hmm. sort of. Mm -hmm. Amir's got the purple shoes on. What? Impossible. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. A little high kick boop. And of course, this is us. Um, this is in honor of Spirit Day today. So hashtag Spirit Day in association with GLAD. And we're taking a stand against bullying LGBT teens who eight out of 10 of them, they report being bullied and five times more likely to commit suicide, you guys, because of the shame. So nobody should be bullied, period. But to see that, that there's such a high statistic surrounding the LGBT teens out there, it's, it's heartbreaking. So love and acceptance, okay? Amen. Please, 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 amen. All right, joining us today, our very own Brie Esrig. You can subscribe to her YouTube channel, at Brie Esrig, with her little double buns, yes. Hi. And we have our first time double guests, you guys. From the Toy Soldiers, Chandler Ryko is back, yes. and Najara Townsend. <laughs> the stars of the Toy Soldiers. So excited to talk to you guys about how much it's grown since we, we last had Chandler on the show. And then, of course, our very own Brett Ehrlich. Make sure you check out Viral Video Film School. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Great plug. <laughs> thank you. I also have the double buns, but I'm sitting on them. Uh, uh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. so it's quick. Cute, cute, cute. And you can check me out live at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern on Dr. Drew on call on HLN. Tune in. All right, so let's get to know Najara a little bit more. We're so happy to have Chandler back. So if you guys remember, if you haven't seen Chandler's previous interview, we'll put up a link. Make sure you watch that because we talked about the Toy Soldiers, which you and I saw. Yes. It is such a powerful movie, but it's also fun and and funny, but drama and serious issues, and it's a throwback to the 80s, which we love. So we've got the two stars here. We'll talk to Chandler in a bit, but Najara, how did you, considering that I feel like the whole cast are just such stellar actors, how do you think that the casting directors pulled that off? Was it a big pool of people that they had to pick your, you for your character, or did they know of your work? Well, I know that the director, writer, Eric Peter Carlson, he did pretty much all the casting, yeah. I think, and um, he just has a knack at finding the right people for the right parts. He, he really finds talent. Um, I know with my character, he was having a hard time finding her, finding the angel, of, of his, the, the vision he had for Angel. Um, and I went in the room, auditioned, and they offered me the part the next day. Wow. So that was really cool. So I must have just fit exactly what he wanted. Tell the viewers some of the, the themes that, that, that exist throughout the film and a little bit about your character so they understand what a meaty role that it was for you to undertake. Each person's story handles their own crisis issues, yeah. social, you know, mountain that they need to climb over. My character had a had a, a tragic past and right. um, she is a strong young woman and she knows what she wants and she knows who she is, but um, but she still is a teenager and she's dealing with a lot of uh, pain. Um, I think that this this film not only is it is it really entertaining, not only do you go up and down on this emotional roller coaster, but I think it's really powerful for 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 teens and even young adults to watch because I, some of them out there are going to be able to relate on a, on a completely different level yeah. and it makes them feel not alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I feel like there's, if, if you might not relate to every single story, but there is a story in there that you will relate to right. and it, it's just so intense. <laughs> it is really intense. Uh, Chandler though, but last time you were here, we were just talking about the idea of it having that screening that we were able to go see. Yeah, at the Chinese Theater, yeah. Yeah, at the Man's Chinese Theater, which is huge, a world-renowned venue. But now it's taking on a whole new life of its own, you guys. Rave reviews across the board, not only for the acting, but for the cinematography, for the plot, the, the script, everything, the director. But also that it's gonna be, it's picked up, right? In AMC theaters nationally? That's, right. That's crazy. That's right, yes. <laughs> You guys, this doesn't, it doesn't happen that often with independent films anymore. So I just want the viewers to know like what an accomplishment this is for your entire crew and team, cast, all of the above. Yeah, it's, a, it's quite an honor. As you said, it's an indie film. And uh, you know, how many, how many uh, indie films do you see at your local AMC theater? Uh, yeah, and this none? is a true <laughs> indie film. Yeah, like, it's we don't bones, have any big no stars. No huge budget. There's no. no names. I mean, Najar is probably, you know, she's I'm the biggest, the name. biggest <laughs> name maybe we have, you know. And uh, I, Eric Peter Carlson wrote and directed it. It's amazing. And, you know, somebody actually came uh, to the, the Chinese screening and, uh, you know, Things happen, talks, and blah blah blah. And now uh, November fourteenth uh, is when it hits uh, AMC theaters. So, wow. nice. so exciting! 
Halloween. And then also this Saturday at the uh, the Arclight Cinema. Yep. And can anybody go? Like, so if we have some Southern California viewers that are in the area, can they yeah. attend? It's the Hollywood Film Festival. Yep. You can see the Toy Soldiers at the Arclight, which is another world-renowned venue. Who doesn't love Arclight? Yeah. Yeah. It's the best. It's the best. It one really of the best is. in LA. Period. So how would people go about getting tickets if they wanted to go see the Toy Soldiers at the Hollywood Film Festival? Easily. Um, you can either go on the Hollywood Film Festival website mm -hmm. and uh, scroll through and purchase a ticket that way or you can just do it the old-fashioned way arc light you can walk into the theater and do it or you can do it online everything you can do it online is probably the easiest yeah. way so either arc lights website or the hollywood film festival website either way yeah. but yeah and it'll be this saturday toy soldiers on facebook all the links are there yeah, love absolutely. that so yeah it's easy. and then what have you guys taken from all of this i mean the experience i'm sure there's so much but the experience is working together what you've learned from your characters why don't we take it from there so both of you have some pretty intense multi-dimensional characters that you had to dive into so during that process and after, how has it uh, affected and changed you? For me, I'm playing Elliot. Uh, I, I can relate to some of the things that, uh, you know, he's gone through, you know, the struggle to kind of figure out life at 19. It's, uh, you know, in the 80s, of course, when things are a little weird. <laughs> and who doesn't love the 80s? Just for that alone, to watch a whole True. film during the, the 80s is, is so great, too. Yeah, it really, like, you watch this movie, not to segue off of your question, or maybe it's because I don't want to answer it. Um, <laughs> But it's it is. the 80s, I mean, you go, you see this movie from opening frame to, you know, the, the last frame, you are totally in that world, and it's trippy. Yeah, um, the soundtrack's really cool, oh, too. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, so good. Awesome. Gliss, Gliss, the band's Gliss, and uh, Daily Bread, they have a killer, killer soundtrack, really pumps, got a very visceral vibe to the mm -hmm. movie, keeps it just kind of going. Um, more so than the character, the experience of making this film, um, I made a lot of friends. Yeah. Um, I've, I've worked with Najara before a long time ago and, and we coincidentally got casted again. Oh, random. And that's uh, completely yeah. random. So it was great to work with a familiar face again. As far as the rest of the cast, they're all sweethearts. They they all crush their roles. It made my job and I think everybody's job a lot easier to know that you have this trust that these people are bringing everything to it. And yeah. that to me, that that changed me to work and, and make a family out of a project that I worked on. and I. I'd give everybody a bear hug if I could. I know? like it. Yeah. And Najara, how did uh, your character impact you? I don't know the whole, I mean, I feel like every film experience, every film family you make changes you and you, you learn things from everybody. And also just like going home from set, there were days where it, there would be scenes that were just so crazy intense and I, it was so, I don't know, it was like, it was just, it makes this job so exciting. Like to go Absolutely. home and be like, wow, that's what this should be. I think we already asked you your dream actor to work with. Najara, um, your okay. dream actor. My dream actor, I'm gonna say Ben Foster. Uh -huh. I've been like obsessed with him. <laughs> He's hostage, so 2005, <laughs> Bruce Willis. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> no, he honestly, like, Where everything. He just woke up. I know. <laughs> that was awesome. He's amazing. He's amazing. Like, okay. and he gets so into his characters, and I would just kill to work with him. Um, and then female, Vera Farmiga is, like, yes. my idol. Good. Two Love great choices. Her. So for all of you guys out there, make sure that you check out The Toy Soldiers. It comes out in theaters, AMC Theaters, on November 14th. Or you can see it this Saturday at the Arclight, uh, part of the Hollywood Film Festival. Right. And also, in honor of Spirit Day, wear your purple show support, love and acceptance for all. Hashtag Spirit Day. We'll see you guys all next time on Pop Trigger.